I know you told me to get this thing down. Yeah, I guess I just don't understand why you didn't take it down last week. Danny. No, I mean, I'm just saying because I need it down, like, stat, because Mike's going to be pulling up any okay. minute. Okay, give me two seconds here. I finally got the call. I got the heads up from Danny. I can now go down and check out my brother's building that he's been working on for seven months. She's been pulling me back. She's been keeping me away because she says, hmm, she says he wants to make me proud. So, uh, you know, he wants, to, he wants to do this building on his own. Our dad left when I was two years old. And we were raised by a single mom. She raised three kids. My brother and I were only a couple years apart, and I never really understood my role as an older brother until I got older, you know? And I've realized how much, you know, I've been there to guide him. We've been there to guide each other, but I'm older than him, and he's always looked up to me. So the fact that he wants to do this building on his own to kind of show me what he can do and what he's all about is a really big deal. Hey, hey, what's up, brother? Hi, what's sweet. going on? What up? Hey, oh my God. Set this thing down. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Uh, yeah, it looks a lot different. It's amazing. It looks amazing, man. Hey, all I'm going to say is it's getting there. Brother. Dude, this freak looks awesome, doesn't it? Dude. Look at this place. Isn't it nuts? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to take it all in. I'm just, I'm. It looks like a neon museum. Yeah, it looks like a museum. neon museum, I know, right? Yeah. Walking in and seeing this place done shows me that all the miles, all the towns, and all of the back roads that we experienced together, he was listening. My passion projects that were important to me were obviously just as important to him. He's taken all of that and now made it his own. I mean, this, uh, you know, you taught me a lot, and this is where I come from. So, you know, we both come from the same thing. As a big brother, I couldn't be more proud. Wow. Okay, so you built this little facade here, obviously, but yeah. wasn't there like a building here? The mixing booth that for the, all the paint was right there. It was a huge building. Yeah, I was gonna say, there was like yeah. a building in a building. And then this right here, if you remember, that was all offices. Yeah, I remember was there was the a bunch of offices over there. That was all solid walls yeah. right there with a break room and all that stuff. We just tore all that stuff out. This is my favorite spot over here. This little like sitting area. Little chill area that you yeah. created, this little chill area. What year was the building built? This building was built in 1939. Carl Clevenson built it as a body shop. So their business had been in town though over 100 years. Wow. So their great grandfather started doing carriages downtown. Then he went into Model T's, Model A's. Yeah, he went yeah. Into so the, the evolution of the car, think about that, of motors across in this town yeah. started with this company. Wow. Well, you know what? I, I think their family would be really proud of what you're doing. It's... And, I'm, and I'm really proud of what you're doing. No. Uh, I'm serious. I am, it's man. Awesome. I am. It is. It's Damn. awesome. Get in the Damn. middle of that brother love. Uh. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.